Welcome to Mercury Engineering Virtual Reality Safety Training Program. Do you prefer to take an onboarding tutorial first? Welcome to onboarding. In this quick tutorial we are going to learn and practice how to use controllers to interact with objects and navigate around the virtual environment. Let's start by moving around using a teleportation tool. During the training, once it's time to move to the next location, the location marker will appear to indicate the directions or the final destination point. Press the thumbstick forward on the controller and aim the beam at the location marker or at any point in the virtual environment and release the thumbstick to teleport. The training will include two main interaction techniques. First is related to a physical's activities like taking and holding items, opening doors and more. For such interactions like observing objects, signs and tags, workplace or equipment visual inspection, the user would have to hover the pointer over the object, press and hold a trigger for two seconds, and proceed to a dialog box. Let's take a closer look at the second technique by hovering the beam over the tool trolley and pressing and holding the trigger button for two seconds. When the dialog box appears, select one of the options from the list, which you believe is the correct answer. Great, let's move to the next step. Reach with your hand to the tool trolley drawer and press the trigger button once to open it. Note that the drawer is highlighted and the moment you bring your hand close to it, a tooltip appears next to the hand, describing the following action. Now, let's learn how to take and wear PPE and interact with tools. Bring your hand close to a safety lanyard on top of the tool trolley and press and hold the trigger button to hold the item in your hand. Then, bring the item towards your body, and after you'll feel a vibration in the controller, release the trigger button to put it on. Do the same with the spanner and put it into your tool belt. Great! Note that the lanyard hooks are secured on the lanyard stowage points in front of your safety harness. Let's try clipping them onto attachment points. In our case these are uni struts. Go on and take one of the hooks by pressing and holding a trigger, place it over desired attachment point, and release the trigger to secure the hook. Let's proceed learning how to use other tools. Take a spanner from your tool belt. Bring your hand near the spanner and press the trigger once. Then go on and try tightening the hex nut holding the uni strut in its place. A tooltip arrow near the nut will tell you the right direction while tightening. Good work. Onboarding is completed. Now we can proceed to work at height training program. Press and hold the menu button on your controller to call out the dialog box. Select continue to launch the training or exit to close the application. Note that you can call out this dialog box at any point of the training. You are at the construction site. Your task will be to resolve the containment tracking leveling issue, located in the hallway on the 10th floor. First, you need to pick and wear the required personal protective equipment, as it is a high risk area. Go to the work van to pick the appropriate personal protective equipment. Select 5 point personal protective equipment. This object is not required during the procedure. You have selected the right five point personal protective equipment. Now, move to the caged lift which will take you to the 10th floor. Enter the caged lift.
Get off the caged lift and move to the hallway. You are in the hallway. Remember to follow safety signs and procedures and move to the place where the containment tracking leveling issue was found to inspect the work area. Inspect the work area and select the type of platform you'll be working from. note that current conditions do not allow the top rails to be fitted. Make sure to use a proper fall arrest system when working from the platform. Now, move to the equipment bay for a selection of the additional equipment. On your way to the equipment bay, notice the location of safety equipment and inspect the hallway for safety violations. Select additional tools required to complete the task. You have selected all the necessary tools. Now, go back to the work area and proceed to the containment tracking leveling. Your task, for now, is to level the containment racking in the data hallway. If work at height cannot be avoided, Notice that it is also the scaffold user's responsibility to ensure that all scaffolding has been inspected properly before the first use. Climb onto the platform once all preparations are complete. Make sure that
there is no leftover debris in the containment racking, and proceed to the task. Use the spirit level to determine whether the surface is inclined. Then, take a spanner and thread the bottom hex nut until the surface is leveled properly. Once leveled, tighten the upper nut downward until the strut is secured. have completed the task. Now, let's move on to the training session results. You may ask your training supervisor for a debrief after the session is complete. <laughs> 